Good morning, everyone from California. Thank you, FDIC, TechSprint, and judges for allowing us to demo our practical solution to unbank and underbank. And thank you to the leadership of my favorite regulator, Chairman Yelena McWilliams. I am Faith Bautista from the National Asian American Coalition and Talino team. Our mission is to address the challenge of 46 million credit invisible in a country achieve the financial inclusion we all envision. Our creative and practical solution is an innovative approach in giving very small dollar loans we call the digital social borrowing. This is our platform that will enable us to win in the fight to significantly narrow the gap between income and wealth inequality. The main tack is to strengthen the small businesses in the underserved communities. In the recent years, there were about 492,000 new small businesses established. Yet, as of, as of April 2021, 34% of this closed. We can imagine the consequences and impact this created on families and individuals and their financial inclusion status. We all know that it's very expensive to be poor. There is the, this is the circumstance we are addressing, and it begins with helping the small businesses that do not fit the box of lending institutions. We have a solution that is creative, out of the box and impactful. Let me ask you in the team that will masterfully demonstrate our digital social borrowing platform. Let me introduce Winston DeMaria, CEO of the Talino Ventures. Winston. Great, thank you. Thank you, Faith. And good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I was telling Faith from the, from the right side of California. Um, um, I am I'm pleased to present to you what we're um, gonna showcase, which is the Talino uh, and an AAC solution for specifically for the MSME, and we'll emphasize the M part of the MSME. Uh, just a quick background of what we're about to show you. Um, the last six years, uh, through the work I'm doing with the World Economic Forum, we've been spending time specifically to enable financial inclusion and economic inclusion uh, in Southeast Asia and the Middle East. And we have essentially digitized the Grameen Bank model. Uh, of providing lending to very small businesses uh, in the region in Southeast Asia. And I'm pleased uh, to bring this back home to the United States, actually, and, and work with CDFIs like NAAC to, to bring the product to life in the country. We have had an opportunity to deploy this solution uh, to about uh, 10 million people around the world. Uh, in, the, in the last uh, few months, uh, we've been running uh, this platform uh, in Southeast Asia and processing about 17,000 loans per month. So um, I'm eager to show you the, the exact experience of what we're about to show. I just want to give you a quick telemetry of what's in our solution. So first starts with interactive financial literacy. Uh, we have had the opportunity to learn more about Money Smart from FDIC and my team took uh, the liberty of uh, um, converting it to interactive video with, with uh, some questions and answers in there. Uh, we want to show you what we're doing uh, in terms of onboarding our customers. Uh, through a you know fairly high end on the uh, sophisticated in the back end, very simple on the front end, biometric electronic KYC. Um, we've simplified the loans further using digitization of documents and e-signatures and notarization, and also disbursements at the back end. All are monitored by a machine learned uh, platform in the back end, uh, and our goal here really is to provide a solution that enables small businesses to onboard and for us to get to a yes as opposed to qualifying them to a no. And so as I will show you the entire experience of the platform, it really is, is thinking around those vectors. And one concept we wanted to introduce here that was really working with the Grameen Bank uh, model and philosophy is the concept of social borrowing circles. And this is really in, in, in what we've learned uh, in Southeast Asia is a highly mutually reinforcing co-borrowing platform that has yielded over 90% repayment rates uh, at the loan rates under credit card rates, you know, sub 20% and uh, sustainably uh, through financial institutions. So it didn't become a char charitable dole up. It's really something that can be banked upon and, and built on top of it. So without further ado, I was going to show you the exact experience uh, of how the platform's working. So this is running completely on mobile. It's a mobile pay first and mobile only platform. Uh, it we made it super inclusive by requiring only a SIM card uh, for a particular user and their biometric. And in the Philippines, for instance, when we use this in very high volume in partnership with the USAID, all the consumers in the Philippines just needed a SIM card and they lent each other their mobile phones. 
uh, to actually be in the banking uh, on ramp. So we designed platforms to be uh, that level of uh, that level of inclusivity. So just kind of a quick run through of it. Uh, a lot of the financial literacy is is up front. Uh, we start our customers off by getting them uh, access to financial literacy information. The collection of information is progressive. So we wanted people to be comfortable and be on ramp with simple data set as, as they move forward. Um, and uh, through the entire experience, we start to track two things, right? And the moment we get to know our customers, we started thinking about their credit scores and we built also a proprietary risk rating engine underneath it. Uh, we are assuming that most of our customers are unbanked and without credit scores. And so we actually created a model by which we can still qualify and progress them through the process. Financial literacy is kind of the centerpiece in the beginning of everything we're doing. Uh, so as an example, we created vertical videos that are optimal for mobile phones to really introduce how financial literacy can be highly accessible and even fun uh, for people uh, learning through it. Uh, that's embedded in the solution. We keep track of their financial literacy activities, and that's factored into our risk rating scores. Uh, going from that, uh, we kind of also gamified the platform so that you can see your progress. Right? The more activities you do related to your credit worthiness, the lower your credit risk rating uh, moves forward. Uh, and then we start to progressively getting more information. Um, since this is a banking application, um, we went right into bank grade KYC. So we use multiple platforms in Southeast Asia. In the United States, we're using Verif. And with Verif, we're actually doing full biometric eKYC. And uh, beyond the, the full biometric eKYC, we also pre-qualify our customers by running their credit scores with their permission, doing OFAP checks if you're doing cross-border transactions. Uh, we, we trace, we track AML and uh, CFT and all the other blacklist elements. So we, we fully qualified everyone that comes into our platform to begin with at the bank level. And then we get them to organize. Uh, in groups. So this is the key success factor of what we have seen in Southeast Asia, where people actually form their own social groups of borrowing. And this is the step that reinforces um, our borrowers to be good borrowers. Uh, they start by helping each other out apply for loans, by adding members. Uh, they uh, help each other out to figure out what kind of capital amount they need um, and submit as a group together. Um, we've also simplified dramatically the process of applying for a loan. A lot of people drop off because this has been complex. So what we've done here is allow people to just simply take photos of their supporting documents. At the back end, we use OCR and ICR to uh, take the photographic images and convert them into elements of our analytics engine to then determine their, uh, their credit uh, worthiness. Um, gives them a summary of what's going on. It provides them a clear uh, truth in lending elements of, of their loan platforms. Uh, they get approved as a group. They get notified as a group. Um, they uh, essentially uh, also uh, then uh, provided with digital platforms to complete their loans, uh, process it together as a group. Uh, and we even um, then give them a mechanism to continue to communicate with each other. So, Throughout the process, financial literacy is always injected. So it starts from the very beginning before they, they apply for a loan, uh, but we, we keep them uh, in, uh, going until they, they go through the process of, of borrowing uh, and then give them very clear um, milestones, uh, not just for the loans that they apply, but the loans that, as they go through their repayment cycles. Uh, the mutually reinforcing part of the loans gets to an every month uh, session. Uh, in the Grameen model, it's called center meetings. What we've done is digitize this process so people can check in on each other, help each other out. And when there are some issues, for instance, one of them uh, are having a hard time payment, pay one minute and they could uh, proactively do that. Um, so that's kind of the overall experience. This platform is in production grade. We've deployed it uh, in several territories already. We're excited to, to localize this back to the United States and uh, uh, with our partnership with NAAC, we are uh, getting ready to deploy this, not just uh, in the communities accessible by NAAC, but to as many CDFI partners as we can as well.